pretty good oh, start Zurin, off the line. Yeah, it was a great start. Yeah, absolute uh, bolter to get through there and uh, uh, not too many of the red lights showing as we head into our uh, first turn and uh, in these conditions. And uh, just talking about conditions, as the morning had gone on, Connor, it just looked like it was getting better and better. And another about a quarter of an hour ago, it just closes in again. Yeah, yeah, the rain stopped, so there was quite a bit of sitting water this morning and the track was really cold and then there might be a little bit more temperature in the track at the moment, but not much more, but there's definitely less water. Um, and I think this drizzle coming has just put a little bit more on there, so I don't think it's going to dry out, but it's pretty good conditions for the rain, nice and consistent. Right, so uh, do we find that uh, here with these wet conditions we might turn this uh, series upside down a little bit? Is there those that you think in this uh, condition would uh, uh, favour? I know there was a bit of a uh, debate going on between who was going to be better, Matt or uh, Nick, um, in the fight, and uh, maybe it's uh, Zoran that's uh, said, well, he can be better than any of them. Yeah, well, the, Nick's been going all well all throughout the season. It's his first time on, well, his first season on this the 600, so... In these conditions, the 600 is pretty leveled out with the superbike because you know you're never really going to be able to get the power down from the superbike in the wet. So it'll be pretty even between them. It's going to come all down to rider, and, and the 600 will probably have a little bit of an advantage through all the windies uh, because it handles slightly better. Um, but for sure, Zurin had a really great start. He's dropped off the pace a little bit, so um, Nick and Matt have checked out a bit here. All right, so there we go. Uh, ready to get our update indeed with uh, Nick and Matt and uh, Zurin, uh, as well explained, uh, a hot one off the start, but uh, probably a lack of experience in those kind of conditions. And uh, all on for those boys. In fact, 0.3 of a second to separate them in the wet after uh, conditions like that. So they've got away to a good start. That was one of the problem corners, turn uh, two there uh, yeah. in uh, wet conditions. Uh, Connor, that's looking much better now. Yeah, turn two has always been a bit of a problem here. On the inside of it, it gets a bit of a puddle and the water runs across the grass and brings some dirt. So it gets a bit dirty but yeah it seems to be holding up all right for now for them so it's yeah it's all good hey well for those of you watching it look at that the lead's just changed three times in the last hundred meters on the racetrack so going into turn number three it was the attack from uh, matt that got the advantage but then in fact he had to go wide and that allowed uh, nick to come back on him and now we've got back to uh, matt i think might have just uh, taken it back again yeah, so uh, great to see nick run a bit wide there and he was just having his super bike power just to pull it back on him and get past all right, uh, Connor, here we are with uh, the, uh, the the track option that we're using. So for people that have been here to Taupo before will be uh, f familiar with the uh, generally the short track. Uh, your views on that? I, I personally love this track. I think it's a great track for training. Um, it, you, you don't get a rest, especially on a super bike. You, you, don't, you don't really blink the whole lap. You're sort of always busy moving around the biggest, biggest straight is along the front straight here. So you never really get out of third gear here. So it's, it's definitely one of the more physical places to ride. All right, so off the start, it was Zoran Wicky who had the advantage. Then on the uh, end of uh, lap number one, it was Nick Burke to have led. Now it's uh, Matt Drayson. Nick's advantage was 0.3 of a second. We've gone out to 1.2 for uh, Matt uh, Drayson there and uh, through the turn two that we were talking about before with those uh, moist conditions. And just to point up here, where during practice, one of our Motard riders uh, uh, had, had a little, little bit of an off there and uh, talked to him uh, during the break and just to find out uh, what it was like. And he just said, yeah, uh, too, too cold, uh, uh, too wet, gave it a fistful of power and uh, spun him to the side. So uh, a happy ending to that one. He's okay, the bike's okay and ready to uh, join our racing again. And uh, uh, looks at with these conditions that you are seeing two class riders that really have got a point of difference out here, Connor. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nick and Matt are definitely on a level of their own. And Nick, for sure, he's on a smaller bike, but he's definitely shown. He's closed that gap that was 1.2 across the line the last lap. Now he's right on the back of him. And he's actually going for the pass into the chicane and just has to back off. Right, so uh, let's update the rest of the field with Matt Trace and Nick Burke out in front. Zoran Wicky got that superb start. Go to the legendary Steve Bridge if he's not in for a fist of glory here with his home Hamilton Motorcycle Club. Well, I don't know who will be because he just does so many of these cool classes. Robbie Oxenham, uh, what a season name out there. So nice to see uh, Robbie in our uh, field out here at the moment. F Robbie, Doug? No? Oh, that's oh, that's a confusion. I think uh, down is Robbie. I think it might be Doug, isn't it? Anyway, we'll, and we've got uh, Miles McDonald out there as well to uh, complement our field. So uh, senior racing for our Kawasaki uh, series and uh, final round joined here by uh, Connor London. And uh, Connor, a day in the life of uh, Vista Light Windows and Doors. Busy? Yeah, yeah, we're flat out at the moment. We've got you know, a whole lot of subdivisions going up in Taupo, so we're flat out there. And, um, yeah, it's going really well. Got, got, a, got a speciality for us, these um, um, modern uh, sliders that are in fact uh, not having to have that groove that we've always knew yeah. that accumulates dust and that sort of thing in there. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there's all sorts of new stuff that they're coming up with and it's, yeah, it's, there's always something new every week, so there's a lot of few interesting things coming up. 
All right, here we go. Time elapsed at coming up towards five minutes and five laps to go. Best time in there at a 121. Well, it's certainly not record breaking stuff here in these conditions. You wouldn't expect it, but that's with uh, Matt Drayson, believe it or not, did that back in lap number two. But uh, Nick's now taking that advantage Something out must to, uh, to one point. He's dropped back considerably. He's he was in front of the lap before, and now he's about three or four seconds behind. So they've gone and back and changed again. So it's back. So we've gone from Zurin to. Uh, Nick to Matt and now back to Nick again. So uh, been a busy change for the front. Yeah, well, I noticed Nick, he's, he started pushing a little bit harder a few laps ago and then and he's pulled out a huge gap on Matt. So nice to see as we come down towards the front here at the moment and here's our update. So uh, Nick Burke is your uh, race leader, the man from uh, Whakatane out there on the uh, uh, Bayride Motorcycles, Yamaha New Zealand, Yamaloo, Carl Cox Motorsport, Showy Revit, uh, City 5, uh, Liet and... Bridgestone sponsored uh, bike, so uh, well done to him and uh, picking up the uh, uh, 07, oh, sorry, 17 model Yamaha R6, so a very competitive uh, bike out there. And uh, Nick going very well. Do you know much of a history about the bike, uh, Connor, from uh, a Nick point of view? Mm, I don't no, know. No, so, but, uh, so he's got some, I think he's going to probably have some nice development work to uh, bring that bike through. I've got an idea that he probably has started with a pure production bike and uh, taken it all away, which is great. To, great to do because of course you don't have any gremlins of anybody else in the past and uh, away you go yeah that r6 that next on that's been showing some real potential overseas obviously it's dominating in the world super sport and that's it's, yeah the r6 is the 600 to be on right so uh, nick burke matt drayson uh, zoran wiki out there looking to uh, steve bridge down is uh, Robbie Oxenham. I'll need to get a correction on that in the programme. And then look to uh, Miles McDonald uh, in a place of his own. I'll tell you what, uh, e even at a time of 1.38 in the wet on a short track out here, uh, give that man a gold medal. Uh, any of those uh, six riders deserve it of uh, credits uh, for icing in these conditions. What about a flag marshal? 5.3 degrees out there today, Connor. Yeah, they're, they're definitely the ones doing the big job. They're standing out in the rain and the cold. They're definitely the heroes here. Yeah, here indeed. All right, so here we are to watch it at the moment. Uh, Nick Burke absolutely controlling uh, conditions at the moment and looking back to uh, uh, Matt and pulling a wheelie. Uh, yeah, you look at a, st a straight run like that and he looks uh, quite in control, but as you've well pe pointed out, uh, Connor, uh, something that's uh, gone amiss. Look at that, 9.9 .9 seconds now. So uh, maybe he's just said, uh, hey, Nick, you're the man. Uh, I'm just going to keep it upright. Yeah, I think what happens, the rain started coming down a bit heavier and it's just got, got a bit bit much I think and maybe you know Nick's got a bit more comfortable in the, the thicker water sitting on the track so he's just been able to pull quite a big gap and um, Matt's dropped off about four seconds off his fastest lap time so something's definitely going on. Yeah there we go so uh, Matt Drayson the man in second place has actually had the best uh, time and he did that at a 121 he's just done that at 125 so uh, here we go and uh, here we are with uh, three laps to uh, run head towards the famous first corner uh, the corner that's probably got the most drama in of any. Oh, there we go. Somebody just have had a little uh, moment Steve there. Steve Bridge just caught up to Zoran and had a big moment coming out of turn one there. Oh yeah, that's uh, that, that's just proving the conditions because yeah, look at look at that field. That when you look at the names down there, uh, Nick, yeah. Matt, Steve, Zoran, Robbie, uh, Miles, McDonald. I know less about uh, Miles uh, credentials compared to others, but they are all very good riders. They'll know how to handle these conditions and what it's like out there. But uh, she's proven pretty slippery, and uh, uh, for us to be standing here, Connor, and to be uh, all, not quite drowned out, but to over uh, to over be through, uh, over. I suppose you'd say uh, overdone by noise, and that's saying a lot for Turbo Town, but um, the, the rain on the roof is uh, quite heavy. Yeah, for sure, the rain's definitely coming down now. You can see a whole lot more spray coming up from these bikes. There's a few puddles forming on the entry to Turn 1 as well, so these guys will be definitely watching out for those. I think Matt here, he's just started to pick up his pace a little bit more. He's pulled in two seconds on Nick on that last lap, so he's got two laps to go. He depends, they're passing some lap traffic, so there's definitely a potential for him to catch up if he keeps going this way. All right, so uh, Nick Burke is your uh, race leader, the Fogatani man, uh, Matt Drayson, then sitting in second place out of Cambridge. He's on the Yamaha R1, so the interesting factor there is uh, both on Yamahas. One's a 1,000 Superbike, the other's a 600 uh, Super Sport. So uh, you'd normally you'd think a Superbike would be all the advantage, but as Connor, you've well outlined uh, a Superbike uh, out on this uh, shortened track here at uh, Taupo is uh, a very, very busy agenda for uh, any rider. So uh, power's not everything in this track. Yeah, absolutely not, especially not in the rain. As you can see Steve Bridge there just going past zero and that's another thousand versus six hundred. So that that's another good battle there. 
All right, these are all uh, seniors, and we're not talking about their age. We're talking about the fact that they are 600 or above. So uh, these are uh, big bike guys, and although a, a somewhat depleted field, hey, uh, every weather forecast indicated that this is the weather we were in for. It's just that you hope one day those people will uh, get it wrong, because uh, after yesterday, you had to be under an illusion. Think, man, can't we just have two beautiful days like that? Yeah, yesterday was a great day. We had Hamish Fox out on our uh, Mill Sport Kawasaki 400, and... He was doing some flying lap times yesterday, really impressed us. And um, yeah, we're hoping for a bit of dry time today so he could put that into a race. But um, you know, he's, he's going well in the rain this morning. It was his first time in the wet with wet tyres. So he's um, qualified second, so it should be a good race. Well, as you well know, back here in uh, May, he was just such a standout rider. And on the day, uh, taking advantage over uh, Team Stroud and uh, others. Um, it, you've had the privilege of now watching him with some other uh, road racing. Uh, Connor, is that improvement still showing in the young man? Yeah, every time he goes out on the bike, Hamish is going faster and faster. And you know, watching him yesterday, even even Roy here was here um, watching and even said he looks like you know what he's doing now. And this, Roy doesn't like to compliment many people. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely yeah. stepping up. Good, good, good to see. We're talking about Hamish Fox, who we'll be uh, focusing on, and some of our racing coming up uh, was our superstar here back in uh, May for round number one of the Kawasaki Road Race Series. And here we are now to look at white flag uh, for our uh, front runners. A change there with uh, Steve and Zoran. They're having a great little battle, aren't they? They've got their uh, own little bike fight going on. It's moved out to be uh, two seconds, and now Steve's finally got the advantage through there. So there it is, checkered flag time, and uh, Nick will uh, take that one. And looking back to the end to the R1, and uh, as you rightfully point out, that 9.6 went down to 4.6, so five seconds made up. So that's, there's, there's, a, there's probably two stories to tell in that race, isn't there? They were having a good battle, something then went wrong, but all of a sudden something came right again yeah, for Matt. Yeah, exactly. They both sort of dropped down their times a bit, but um, Matt pulled them back in the last few laps. So I think, yeah, something must have happened in the, in the middle of the race there for him to drop that far back. Right, so there it is, race number one of this uh, third and final round of the series. And uh, well, uh, for spectators uh, today, they'll be the brave hearts. There's a few, a few umbrellas I can spot along.